Uh, our old intern, intern Jeremy, is here. He just stopped by for a visit. We're going to play a game with him because um, the Scripps uh, National Spelling Bee was last night. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy is a terrible speller. He's a smart guy, but he just can't spell pretty simple words. Uh, and over the years, we've done these uh, spelling bees with him, and they're hilarious because he can't spell words that pretty much anybody can spell. But we're going to do a different take on this, and we've secluded him right now. He can't hear he what can't we're hear saying. Okay. Steve has come up with some fake words. They're oh, not nice. real. Now, I'm going to tell him that we're using, instead of going with the simple words this time around, we're going to use words that are actually used in the spelling bee. It's going to be harder for him, Yeah, but these are these are just gibberish. <laughs> it's ex- nothing. I've got definitions and examples of oh, them. Nice. As we had a visit from our old intern, intern Jeremy. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, guys. How this are you? morning. How you doing, uh, Jeremy? I am I'm lovely. All right. The word is tendicant. Mm. All right. So let me uh, tell you. First of all, tendicant is an adjective. Uh, the definition is excessively jovial or giddy, often to the point of nausea. Uh, using it in a sentence, Larry was very tendicant, so he was seldom given good news. Tendicant. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this is one where I probably think it's a K, but it's a C. Let's hear it. All right. T E N D E N K E N T. That is incorrect. Uh, No. Nocturine. It's a noun. The definition is in ancient Rome, a swimming pool used for public urination. (laughs) Uh, In the sentence it is used, the subway had a smell of a nocturine. Nocturine. Uh, K-N. Well, well, you know it's nocturine. Okay, so did I go completely wrong? A knock. Well, like is it... Okay, oh, okay, I thought I you were see. starting with a K when the no, word is... No, I was. Yeah, the K but is silent. Well, he thinks it might be like, the, like... You know what? Knock. I stand corrected. Mm-hmm. So, good there for we go. you. Heard good that one for wrong. you. No. I'm going to switch that up a little okay. bit. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go N. Uh-huh. <laughs> N, uh... Man. N-O-C-K... Ooh, I'm gonna throw you love e that K. There. I love it. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys love the K. Uh, all right, so let's say N O C K E T R E A. Do you have a pen to write I it do, down? I do, and okay. it's in no way helping at all. Does that pen yeah. have any ink in it? It does, yeah. yeah. It just, um, I think the pen doesn't know what I'm doing. Jeremy, okay. you're wrong. Yeah. Nocturine is spelled N O C T U R I N A N since There's Maureen. A U in there? Uh, yeah. yeah. Credis. Credits is a noun. Okay, Jeremy. Okay. No. Do, the, do the parts of speech help you at all? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a thing, right? Yes. But, like, I don't understand it's a how person, that place, how I thing. spell it. Yeah. This is the definition. The part of, the, of your fence that your neighbors most often see. Okay. Like a credit, John's true self was only seen by others. Credits. This. Credits. All right. Um, C-R-E-D-I-U-S. No. You were Sorry. just a couple letters off. Just Peter a couple out. letters off. Well, no, I was. I was that, the K I mean, silent on that one. Like, I, is there a K in there? I'll be so pissed. <laughs> right. Let's do the last one. Convivate, what? and it's a verb. Uh, the definition is to rebuff romantic advances by feigning insanity. Insanity. <laughs> it's incredible. Lucy's attempt to convivate Larry's interest ended with her eating a paper bag. <laughs> Conva. Convivate. Convivate. So con. Yeah, so I'm going C O N on con. I feel pretty good about that. V V A. No. V E? No. Alright, well there's no more letters left. No. Yes, sir. There are a few more vowels left. V O. No. V V sometimes Y. No. I. Yeah. Conva. V A I T. No. <laughs> There's two V's in this thing. You found that I You got again. V, yes. I, well, it, V8. Goddamn, spell this. Oh, great. Are you right. spelling stuff with the number eight now? Is no. that what you're saying? V, and then how do you spell eight? Okay, I see what you're saying there. As so, in past tense of eat. G-H-I-G-T, yeah. No. G-T-E. A-T-E. No, past tense A-T-E. of eat. Eight? eight? Yeah. E-A. No. T- what? Eight. Eight. What is the past tense of eat? To have eaten. No. <laughs> Eight. A-T-E. A-T-E is what yes, I was saying. Yeah, you got it right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. I, I do approve of that spelling now that I got a chance to look at the whole thing. Jeremy, the first time ever, you didn't get any of them. None know, of them. You've really at least gotten one or maybe two. These are tricky. 
That's too bad. I mean, they're fairly common words, too. I mean, I've, uh, you know, heard them on a fairly regular basis. Yeah, so I'm going to have to uh, maybe get a calendar with words on yeah. it or something. But do you think you may have heard those words before? A couple of them, anyway. Yeah, I, I, at least a couple. Okay. Well, I've got news for you. Yeah. We made them all up there. <laughs> are you serious? I swear to God. <laughs> None of those are real words. In, in, uh, okay, so like my spelling could have been right. Yeah. Not real. Technically, you got them all right. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Who, who decided the spelling of these words? Was Nick? Nick it was, decided? It was me. Okay, well, I feel like my spelling is better for a majority of these words. <laughs> yeah.